Alcohol police say a woman was stabbed to death by her husband, and he's the one who is under arrest for it. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins was first on the scene at 4.30 this morning. She is live in El Cajon with what police say did not add up about the husband's story. Hannah? And we're told there's no history of domestic violence, and the couple even held hands everywhere they went. Now, the husband called police from that upstairs apartment to say his wife was having a hard time breathing. When first responders arrived, they say she wasn't breathing at all. They were always together. I mean, they were never separate. Until now, 39 year old Gangle Whedon was carried out of her home in a body bag without her husband at her side. That's because 47 year old Salem Zora left in handcuffs. Elkhorn police say he called 911 Sunday night and said his wife wasn't breathing, but his story didn't add up. Police now believe he stabbed his wife over and over until she died inside their own home. He's facing first degree murder charges. They'd hold hands, walk to the car. They were they always looked happy. Resident manager Sandra Hoffman said they kept to themselves and seemed inseparable. Hoffman couldn't fathom how she could end up alone in the back of the medical examiner's van. I couldn't even I couldn't even respond. It was just it was unbelievable. And after a couple hours have passed, what's your response now? I, I still don't believe it. I mean they are a fantastic couple. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean he was he was personable. They were friendly. But what went on behind closed doors? Evidence technicians hauled out huge bags of evidence to find out. They even pulled out, loaded up, and hauled off two dumpsters with the disturbing thought critical evidence in there could explain what forever divided the inseparable couple. Zora is expected to be in court on Wednesday for first degree murder. Elkhorn police are asking anyone with information to come forward. We can tell you the couple does not have children. Live in Elkhorn, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.